One, two, one, two, three, four. I'm George Benson, and this is my friend Jody Fisher, and we're having fun here at the Breezin Lounge, talking my favorite subject, I should say our favorite subject, the guitar. Lots of fun, isn't it? Too much fun for me, I'll tell you. <laughs> you know, I've been pretty fortunate to know uh, several people that you've played with through the years in your bands, your backup bands, and everybody loves the gig. Everybody tells me what a great time it is, and the show is great, but they say, you should see the sound checks. <laughs> so I want to hear about some of these sound checks. What goes on? Well, the truth is I have uh, several of them on uh, videotape, and one day we're going to put them up okay. and check them out. Okay. I never thought they would be as valuable as they are to me now, and they're very dear to me because all of us were young, hot guys, you know. Steve was a great player, man, he, and he came with fire every day. Are you talking about uh, Steve Tavaloni? Steve Tavaloni. And saxophone, yeah. and, uh, and uh, we had Barnaby Finch, Barnaby Finch in the band at the time playing keyboards, and he was young and he was hot. <laughs> but you could feel that the music in them. They were young, mm -hmm. but they were very musical. Mm -hmm. They helped me because I had been studying all of these ideas, and, you know, if you get with bands who are not really into that and don't have the training in the harmony, sure. then you can't use that stuff. Absolutely. But with these guys, no matter where I went, they were there, ready to play. Now, did you find most of your members stayed with you for a long time? I did. Yeah. I had um, uh, the guys we were talking about stayed with me, I don't know, five years, six years, a combination. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one guy in my band been with me. 30 years at least. Who is that now? <laughs> Stanley Banks, my is, bass player. Is that right, that long? He was on that mm -hmm. Breezin' album, mm -hmm. and he was just a kid when he joined the band. And, uh, and after we cut that album, my life changed considerably because of how powerful it was uh, on the commercial market. Sure. And we got uh, critical acclaim too, and won Grammys and Record of the Year. Mm -hmm. And you know, that really changed my life. Oh, I'm sure it did, I'm sure it did. Talk to us about the uh, lineage of guitar players you've had in your band. Well, you know, I had uh, Phil Upchurch. Oh, I know. An Phil. incredible player. Yeah. Uh, but the man who's been with me for so many years and is such a great, versatile guitar player is Michael O'Neill. Mm -hmm. I have great respect for him as a guitar player, and he's one of my best friends. And so my band is a happy one. That sounds really, really great. What a great way to spend, spend a, a tour, you know, with the people That's you right. like to spend That's it with right. the most. And such heavy, heavy players. Well, we've certainly learned a lot, and we'll learn a lot more when we come back. Mm -hmm. 